Well guys, good afternoon or good evening really. I think it's about six o'clock. Yeah, good evening. It's about six o'clock. But it feels a lot earlier than that. I just got in ready actually. I didn't get ready all day. I got ready after work at four. And out I know I am back in the same dress. That's my thing. Like I said, when I like something I just wear it every day until I can't anymore. So yeah. I'm gonna run downstairs to pick up something. I have to go to Trader Joe's to get some seasoning and some stuff to perhaps make a salad for later i'm not sure yet what i want to eat tonight i'm having i don't know i'm having a hard time deciding what i want to eat so we'll see the room is pretty clean i'm looking for a bag to to drop off recycle so i need to find a paper bag or something of sort Good afternoon. I think it's about 12:28. I don't know why I'm just like obsessed with like telling you guys the time. It's because when I'm watching vlogs, I want to know what time it is <laughs> from the person that I'm watching. I don't know why, but it's just a weird thing. I wasn't feeling well yesterday, so I took the day off. You know, everything, Instagram, even work. I took the day off work. I was in bed all day, just resting. Not Corona just cramps just you know girl stuff you know i typically have to take a day off every month to deal with the cramps but i wanted to show you my new chanel earrings that just came in now i've been wanting these pearl earrings for over a year now don't mind the wax on my neck i've had it for a few weeks now it's driving me insane i needed to that go away already uh, but I get rashes all the time in my neck. It's just What's going on with the lighting? Yeah, it's like very very frustrating. I just ignore it I'm gonna have to apply some of my cream my French cream. I don't know why I call it French cream There's a name for it. I can't remember so the easiest thing to say is French cream, but like I said, I've been looking for these for a long time At a price that I was willing to pay for and I finally found them on what goes around. Oops, this is my work stuff. Can't be showing you that because it's very sensitive information. Um, but yeah, I finally found them at a price that I was willing to pay. Um, it was within my budget, plus I got 10%. So I ended up paying about a couple dollars less than what they were, than the asking price, which was great. And they look, they look absolutely fabulous i love them i cannot wait to wear them um like i said i've been looking for these earrings for a very very long time they are stunning i just want to keep them on but they're clip on so it's like unless i'm going somewhere or i'm shooting something um i mean usually my tolerance for clip-ons is pretty high um i can deal with the pain i think like you know a few hours like three to four hours I could do with those a couple more orders coming in and this is the situation over there ignore I was just trying to like do a cute little picture with my new flats I am working um, with Wathis on a collaboration so these are the shoes that I picked the Mary Jane in the rosebud color so I thought I'll just put some rose petal and take a picture with them they so cute their shoes are very sustainable. They are made from recycled bottles. I have another pair that I talk about all the time. They're called the Cat. They're like in the. Oh, they're, they're right there. Oops. So those are the cats over there. I usually. Whenever I want to wear flats, those are usually the ones that I go for. And also, they are perfect for when it's raining. Um, because obviously, they're made from recycled plastic bottles so it's amazing um so if they get wet i know i don't really have to worry about it so i really like that yeah when they reached out for collaboration i was super happy because i already love the brand i already you know spend my money um with them the thing is their shoes do run small so i would say go half a size bigger um these i couldn't find in my half a size so i ended up getting a full size and they fit they fit good i mean obviously because they have the thing around them but i would say go half a size bigger 
got my order from Sephora and also got <clears throat> Vince Camuto sent me some shoes as well which I'm very happy about this is another one of my favorite shoe brand very excited to show you what's in the what's in the box I'm also going to film a video with all the shoes I'll be wearing this summer <coughs> and all the shoes you need to check out as well this summer so I also got another big hat I know it's a little bit excessive but the thing is that's the hat that I wanted originally and then I ended up getting the Illyopia one which I love but the Jacquemus one was the one that I wanted from the beginning it just was sold out but I guess they saw that it's such a hot piece so then it they ended up bringing it back for a lot higher because I think originally it was 150 now this time around they priced it at 215 but I found it on sale for 166 um, so hopefully they still have it if not then I'll just link a few other ones that you guys can um, check out and I still have the shop bo box here because I want to return a couple of things so I want to keep the box I do I do have another pair of shoes coming today from Sarah Flint which I'm very excited about um, I think they came out yesterday was the first day they unveiled a new shoe they're called the Parker they're like very beautiful they're like mesh with the little dots and stuff these absolutely stunning cannot wait to to receive those today but I'm gonna unbox them tomorrow because I'm gonna unbox the Vince Camuto now so I'll just wait tomorrow to unbox the Sarah Flint one so that but this is a Jacques Mousse hat I up I think I l I prefer it over the the LUP one because this one I feel it's more casual and also the strap is a lot thinner and I think I could just wear this around just like you know printing around like I feel like this I can just wear um, on a regular basis like you know this I'll feel very comfortable just wearing this and walking out the other one I'll be like this is too much I think it's because maybe the strap is like so thick and the brim is so much wider than this I think is it that much wider and then I love that this thing is a lot smaller it's not supposed to fit your head um, which is why you have to s oops which is why you have to secure it with this and you see how understated it is and then I can easily put this on my hair I mean underneath my hair so you can't really see this under my neck if I don't want you to see it so I was thinking you know if it was a little bit excessive to keep this but I am going to keep it because I think it's a more casual look um, and I can wear this a lot easier as opposed to the other one I love the other one but I feel like that the other one is more dramatic it's for that day where I want to be extremely extremely dramatic well hello there today is Thursday I'm feeling a lot better today um, which is fantastic order from Amazon came in so what I do is for all my cameras I always order screen protectant for all of them and this just came for this camera that I am now vlogging on now I just added the screen protectant because um, not only that I don't trust myself but I believe in protecting the things that you know helps you um, in your daily lives so for me it's my camera so I always try to protect those things um, yeah and also I'm just used to kind of like banging things sometimes and dropping them so I try to be cautious and and protect them I reformation order came in and also dr. Brent just sent me some lovely products and I just curled my hair probably not the person to even to li listen to about curling hair because when it comes to hair I suck at that thing um yeah but yeah I kind of like it because I feel like my hair was starting to look flat a little bit and I wanted a nice little curl you know some movement here and there so I like it uh I do want to show you something but I need somewhere to put the camera Ooh, that is some good lighting over here. So, 
I'm waiting for my mom to bring my seasoning so I can go back to making my tacos in a spot because my comp I mean I usually use this for my phone although originally I I bought this tripod for this camera because you guys always complain about how shaky I am in the vlogs gives you a headache sorry but I am quite shaky <laughs> You guys are right, you know. I agree with you. Um, I take criticism pretty well. I would think. I really want to show you what I get from Dr. Brent. This is too low. So we need to figure something else out. Maybe I could use a shoebox. Some returns today. Like, you should see my list of things to do. It's so long um we'll see if i get anything done because i'm supposed to have a picnic later because today is supposed to be nice and all that stuff uh, hold on I'm a beauty addict so i am always looking for like new beauty products to try I'm, like itching because i feel like i'm getting used to whatever i'm using right now and I wanted to try some some new stuff. I really like the ooh luminizing primer. Hmm, gives a natural looking back light glow. Revive dull skin. Yeah, my skin can be pretty dull sometimes. Pore refiner, um, primer. I don't have problems with my pores. Um, the only times I, I see my pores is when I drink alcohol. That's the only thing. Um, like if I drink like hot liquor, like if I had like a margarita, the next day I'd wake up and I could see my pores. But other than that, um, I don't really have problems with my pores, which I really love the name of this product, Vacuum Cleaner. It's a pore purifying mask. Unclogged pores. Yeah, I just love a good product that's going to take all the stuff out of my pores. When I say I don't, yeah, when I say I don't have problem with my pores, I mean, of course, we all have pores, but some of us have big pores. Some of us, you know, it's very minimal. Mine is very minimal. I don't really see it on the surface much, but I mean, they're still there and I still need to clean them and stuff like that. Wow. And I really love, I really love the bottle. It's like super, super cool. This camera it's not the best at focusing on things to be quite honest it's very very irritating to pay that much money for a camera my sony did a better job but the thing is i love the lighting in here better i already love love the packaging for this this looks very futuristic so i can't wait to use them i think this is the one that i'm gonna try tonight the pour um that's the primer i can try that with you all i think i think i know what i'm gonna do i think vlogging it's the easiest way for me to try skincare products because if i had to like do a whole setup on doing my skincare it's probably not gonna happen this is a microdermabrasion age defining exfoliator oh i love that little card telling you about one sold every three minutes oh wow pores no more i guess that's the whole thing because they have the dark spot no more which i absolutely love i have my friend vanessa uh hook on it but now since i don't really have dark spots anymore um so i have the bottle i have half of the bottle that i'm saving for for vanessa when she comes over remember i told you guys for my last haul that I ordered the blue version of the lemon printed dress from reformation I'm so happy I got that one in the sale even even though I paid full price for the lemon dress um, I don't care because reformation hardly ever have sales to begin with and of course this, the dress is just such good quality it's so timeless I know I'm gonna be wearing that dress summer after summer so and also take it on all my vacations so I didn't really, oof, that just reminded me I have to do my B&H rebate thing. Um, so it says, honey, I'm home. I'm so happy this came. And if you haven't realized yet, I've been wearing this dress every day since I got it. So as I said, I ordered the blue version of the Veronica dress. Um, 
I also got a medium in this one and I think like I told you before blue is not necessarily a color that I go towards because I don't think it really does anything for my complexion maybe it's because I haven't tried enough variety of blue so I thought I would try I mean I would start with this printed one I really like this type of blue it's like very minimal it's not a lot it's very subtle so I can't wait to pop this on and show you what it looks like sorry for the mess but I wanted to quickly show you the new dress that I got remember I told you in my last haul that I got the blue version of the lemon printed dress here it is and I mean of course I know it would fit like a glove just as the other one this is a size medium by the way I'm not sure if they still have it but you can put yourself on the waiting list and they will let you know when this dress is back I wanted to get um, to get the white but it was too expected of me so i thought i would go for a color normally i wouldn't go for which is blue blue is a color that i'm trying to get more into i love the print so much it's like a little linen it's like a hair mm, it's not so much of a heavy linen but it's not like a thin linen at all it's such such good quality and this is a print that i could see myself having plates in so it's right up my alley when it comes to like um, cups and plates because I just love blue plates with like beautiful prints and flowers and all that stuff. So it's so beautiful. Love it. And it's just so flowy. And these are also my new shoes that I got from Sarah Flint. You guys know I am a brand ambassador for them. So if you use my code BAWOLS50, you would save $50. It's called the Parker and they're going for the retro vibe with mesh and polka dots and mesh and polka dots i mean say no more you guys know i love polka dots i am like the biggest fan of anything polka dots so this is the heel height is 60 millimeter typically i don't wear black shoes but these ones are an exception they are i mean i don't even have to say comfortable because sarah flint is known for her shoes being comfortable it's all that's what it's all about it has an arch support like all her shoes does it's like walking on clouds the straps are like so so comfortable and i love that slit detail here 22 22 is what i usually go for because i have small feet it makes my feet look um if i wear round two it makes my feet look like baby feet so 22 also it's classic so it would always uh, make your feet look good even if you have big feet um, I don't think it matters your feet will still look good so yeah I love it obviously I won't be I mean I can wear with this but I got a new pair from them I got a new pair of the block sandal in the nude so I'm waiting I'm probably gonna be wearing them with this dress or maybe I'll wear one of these shoes let's see how the blue looks I'm really loving my hair today oh, I wish I would have shown you how I curl it but I I don't know I'm loving the blue on me I feel like something like that but I do have a picnic this weekend so I do have a little picnic date so I'm probably gonna wear it in my little picnic date and stuff so I'm super 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 excited for that I love it I'm wearing my um, my soft bra which is the one that I stay that I wear at home but I it just turned out it goes so well with a lot of my dresses so it's so perfect that I'm gonna go to the park for a little picnic and also I'm gonna be shooting these shoes and of course I'm gonna be wearing polka dots with them I'm just trying to like see how I should do my hair it's kind of like make it a little retro I think I like this I think the polka dots it was made to wear with this polka dots and I was thinking about what shoes um, to wear with this polka dot dress it's just so happened that they're launching the Parker and they sent me a pair and it just works out perfectly um, because it's polka dots and mesh it's like match made in heaven and this is my little lemon dress I have to steam it tonight shoot it I need to do a shoot but I bought something that I'm waiting for to kind of like do this shit together so we'll see how that goes and I'm looking for like a wall in our building 
but the building is like so old I actually actually didn't know the history of the place that I live in until I went to the skyscraper museum but I absolutely love where I live it's like a nice little community I just love that I have um, a park in the building there's so many services here honestly um, guys sorry for the too much boobage going on but that's what I'm wearing to cook probably have to switch it over and just going to make a quick salad because I'm super super hungry I'm going to make a small one and we need our greens see even my plates lemon I love this are made from Italy I mean in Italy, in Italy. So usually I boil an egg and slice it over my salad, but today I don't have time for that. So what I'm going to do so I like arugula on my salads. Um, I don't really like any other greens, maybe spinach. And red onions for my dressing that's about it just a little bowl like that you just slice it on the thing but I don't want to dirty it so I don't have to wash it I know very lazy lately I've been trying to cook whatever is easier that's gonna require um, no washing I'm just gonna save the other half I have my little avocado thingy For my dressing, I love using a lime because lime is the best. I prefer lime over lemon. And then I have this little zesty thing that I use. So I use some lime zest. And then I'm gonna squeeze. Next up. Olive oil. I got this bottle from TJ Maxx. So I put a good amount of olive oil. I mean, just however um, much I need to make sure my salad is like drenched. And what I like to do. Typically, I love carrots in my salad, but I don't have carrots today. And this is the best little feta cheese from Trader Joe's. This stuff is amazing. Oops, is that the organic crumble feta cheese? It's so good. I put it on everything like avocado toast, salad. What else do I put it on? I don't remember. But. I go through one like every week and be gone. So this is what I wanted to show you. My avocado thing. You can get this from Amazon. These are my fave. I'm going to use half of the red onion. These are the best seasoning from Trader Joe's that garlic salt is amazing plus the rainbow peppercorns and of course i got balsamic vinegar so my dressing is usually olive oil onions salt pepper and balsamic vinegar again you just eyeball it you don't need measurements or everything I add quite a bit of salt. Camera is about to die.
and then you just drape it all over that. And that's about it. We are done cooking. Well, I wasn't cooking. This is it. Lunch is ready. Hi guys. <laughs> Don't wait for it. I am now on the Upper East Side um, heading to the park. I hope I'm not shaky because I am holding the camera with the arm that, that I am carrying the bag with. I'm wearing this beautiful dress because I want to shoot it with the new shoes that I received from Sarah Flint today. I absolutely love them. Like I said, typically I don't like black shoes, but these are like the black shoes that I absolutely love. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, today is my mom's birthday, so it's super exciting. And tomorrow is my brother's birthday, so <laughs> no wonder they fight with each other all the time. It's so funny. But yeah, she's gonna come down and bring me food. I know that's what she likes to do on her birthday. She likes to feed us, so you can't. Um, I can't take that, you know, happiness away from her. Um, in the past, you know, I've always trying to, you know, we always trying to drag her out, take her to a restaurant. But honestly, nothing makes her happier than to cook for us on her birthday. So we're just gonna. I feel like I see a gap in my eyebrows. It's so funny sometimes how the camera just like enhances everything. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna let her be happy and is that better? I cannot wait to get these microblade in. I'm gonna text the girl to see when she reopens. It's probably the earliest that I've gotten dressed and stuff like that. I'm wearing that Dior eyeshadow palette again. I think it's my favorite eyeshadow palette ever because the colors are just like so complementary to my eyes and skin tone it's like i've been looking some like goldish slightly orangey um eyeshadow like this for the longest time and i cannot believe i've been sitting on this for almost a year that i've had this um i think i got it last year when i went to an event with danielle she was doing an event at the dior store in uh, in the Wall Street Center Mall because Westfield Mall because I can't remember but it was a limited edition I believe this is called Wild Earth number six Sienna number 696 yeah Sienna but this stuff is just the loveliest colors and I use all of them on my lids except for that white one that's up here well, I I use all three of them or all four of them on my lids and just apply one after the other on top of each other and they end up creating like the perfect combination like so pretty and stuff like that look at this so pretty and then for my crease i just use my chanel powder because it's same color as my skin tone um for my crease area so it doesn't go past but i i like the palette is absolutely stunning i love it still drinking my coffee i think anthropology have this mug available this monogram um towel mug that's my favorite that's like my favorite thing that i love to give people for present on christmas because they usually bring these cups every christmas like every november um they usually bring those limited edition ones but they still have them available so i will leave the link below if you ladies want to check them out the only thing is you can't use the microwave or in the dishwasher but it's okay i love to do everything by hand anyways but sometimes after my coffee's gone cold i can't really put it in the microwave but it's so pretty um it doesn't bother me i usually just drink my coffee <laughs> i usually just drink it cold if it if it's gotten cold by the time i drink it and stuff like that but um i'm at work now the volume so i'm gonna get back to work now I will catch you oh did I show you my gift I've been watching a lot of old movies and of Audrey Hepburn because she's like my muse like <laughs> it's so funny sometimes I feel like you know <laughs> so then I feel like I'm her it's just like oh I just loved her so much but since I've been watching a lot of old movies my friend got me a lovely gift yesterday so we 
he got me um, Audrey Hepburn book from the 50s which is when all my favorite Audrey Hepburn movies were made like Women Holiday, Charade, A Funny Face and there's this outfit from Funny Face and it wasn't one of the most iconic look which I don't get when she was on the boat with all the white look and then with that hat with the pink bows and then with the sash around her waist and the pink shoes and then when I got those pink shoes I was like oh my goodness I'm gonna recreate that look I just had to find a hat with the pink bow but I feel like that's an easy fix I can just wear any of my hats up top um yeah I do have a hat kind of like that same size which is like the yellow one so I'm gonna see if I can remove the scarf that's around the yellow um no that hat with the yellow scarf and get like a pink sash to wear around it I'm gonna add all white look so that's easy because I have a ton of like all white outfits hello me again I have an order came in it's a super super exciting order I hope it's as good as it looked on the website. This new order that I just got delivered from Etsy. It's a flower basket. I've been looking for a cute flower basket for the longest time. And when I saw this one, I jumped on it. And it was the last one, but I will um, include links for some other ones. I don't want to break it. It's the prettiest thing ever. Wow, it's so pretty. I was trying to see if I have some flowers nearby. But I can see me carrying this like this with all the flower poking through. I don't know how I'm going to carry this when I, if I go on vacation somewhere made in the Philippines. Um, I'm so happy. Like two days ago it already get delivered i mean it's just coming from maine maine is only just a few hours from new york so i get it but i just love when um the people that you order from just like fat i mean ship your stuff really fast and i'm waiting for my jane birkin basket bag and i think i ordered some other chapel i mean <laughs> hat i don't know why i'm speaking french all of a sudden but oh i see fedex mm. this is a flower basket it's vintage this one is sold out obviously because it's the last one it's the one but i'm going to include some links in the description box if you ladies um are looking for a flower basket um this one is uh, it's absolutely beautiful i i would have been so upset if i didn't buy it um i think it was only like 12 bucks and then the shipping was 10 um so yeah i I couldn't pass this up I mean even if the shipping was more I would have bought it <laughs> because I saw one it was like 20 bucks and then the shipping was like $75 and it's coming from the it's coming from the States and I'm like doesn't make any sense at all um, you're shipping something so light and then you want someone to pay $75 for shipping that's just unacceptable um, doesn't they ship it based on the on the weight of the item not necessarily how big is the box i don't know i could be wrong i should know this so i used to have a shop but it was close closer like easier to just pack in a little plastic bag and send off but i love this so much it's so pretty i cannot get over it i cannot wait to put some dry flowers in this I love it all right let me get back to work now and then this is what my house has become like the it's just like i have to go to the recycle every day and just like throw a bunch of boxes out which i'm not mad about honestly because i'm so you know grateful that you know i'm healthy and then i can shop and then have companies sending me some stuff you know to share with you guys and show you what they look oh i didn't show you the shoes i just realized they'll be stunning these pink shoes, I didn't realize they were so pink, so I'm not sure how I'll be wearing these. I'll probably just wear them at night or something because these are like, um, what do you call them again? Uh, that bright pink color, there's a name for it. I, I can't think of it, but I can't decide which one is my favorite between the white mules or this. This is more like the Bottega look if you're looking for the bottega looks for less okay, here it is 
they are absolutely stunning like you couldn't tell me they're not Bottega unless you saw the the thing I love the square spool heel the padding on this is so good it feels like they're like two inches when I think they're about like 3.8 or close to four inches they're so comfy so so comfy um this is not necessarily my, not my style because they are trendy shoe but omg they're so comfy um this is these are like the perfect summer shoe to to wear out at night on a nice summer date um and stuff and you can wear this in the fall and spring as well but i think i like these better because these are more my style because you know me i love granny shoes and i really love the retro detail on these like all this crystal sparkliness that just make this shoe um even more versatile because you can easily dress them up um and also dress them out you can wear them during the day at night i really really love these like i am obsessed they look so pretty look love all right let's get back to work now hi everyone I thought I popped on here and say hi um, it's about three o'clock now yeah about 310 and my mom still hasn't arrived um, I thought she was gonna come in the morning, but I forgot that she took the day off because it's her birthday obviously So she's still not here, which is great. That means by the time she gets here I'll be done with the work and then we can hang out. So what I did was I Ordered her a little cake. It's in the fridge um, I should probably put it out because we're supposed to eat it like put it out like two hours before so I'm gonna put the cake out I also got some banana pudding I used to think Magnolia Bakeries has the best banana pudding but this place has the best banana pudding it's called sugar sweet what sugar sweet sunshine it's in the Lower East Side on Stanton Street no Rivington Street it's the best banana pudding in the city um, actually my friend surprised me for my birthday we could cake from there and the banana pudding the cake is terrible um, maybe it was a cake that I had that day so hopefully the cake that I bought for my mom is a good one I'm hoping so we'll see how it goes but the banana pudding it's what they've known you know they known for they make the best one better than magnolia I know but I am hungry. It's to the point where I don't think I can wait any longer. I haven't eaten anything all day because I've been waiting for my mom's cooking. Because it would, you know, defeats the purpose of me eating anything when she's bringing me so much food. And I'm waiting for this Haitian patty. It's called pate corde. That I've been craving for like over a week now. Oh, looks like my boss replied. I'm out here buying flowers for my mom. She's at my house right now. She's waiting for me. I don't, the flower, the bouquet that I wanted had white lilies, and I want the pink lilies. So he's changing it for me, which is very lovely of him. So I am gonna. He's doing that whilst I wait, and um, yeah. And then I'm just gonna walk across because my apartment is like literally right there. 